The building that we have today wasn't the first building that the Baptists in Canterbury met at. Originally they met at the Round House Chapel, built in 1764. This building belonged to the Methodists, and it was originally opened by John Wesley himself. At the opening service, he preached these words, Only one thing is needful. The message for his audience, as it is today, is that we need only sit at the feet of Jesus. In the early days of Canterbury Baptist, there were a number of ministers that served. One minister that particularly stands out for us is the Reverend Charles Kirtland. Under Charles Kirtland, the building in which we are standing or sitting here this morning was built. It was completed on the 17th of March, 1864, after a number of people raised a, a large sum of money to fund it. Four ministers served over the next 50 years, including Reverend J. Aldis, Jr., Reverend William Townsend, Reverend H. Knowles Kempton, and Reverend John Lewis. And it was under John Lewis that the Baptist Hall was commissioned. Funded from the congregation, including a few large donors, the Baptist Hall was completed in 1915 and was originally used for children's work, for teaching, for Sunday school. During the First World War, it was also used to entertain the troops. During the times of Reverend H. J. Morley and Reverend Alan Ritchie, a church was planted in the town of Aylsham. Aylsham Baptist Free Church was completed in September 1928, and we're delighted to say we have great relationships with them still. There were many names over the following years, Reverend Vivian Evans, Reverend R.C. McRobbie, Reverend Robert or Bob Archer, Reverend Peter Piermain, Reverend Samuel Redding, and Reverend Dave Stedman. In 2011, under Reverend Stedman, the decision was made to completely refurbish the building in St George's Place and to turn the Baptist Hall into a community hub. The results were fantastic. There was now disabled access to the premises where they'd not been before. The church was very comfortable with state-of-the-art audio-visual technology being installed. Over the years, Canterbury Baptist Church has been blessed with a number of ministers in training, many of whom have gone on to lead churches themselves. As a church, this is something we really value for our future, asking ourselves who might be next to serve God with us in this way. After Reverend Stedman's departure, Reverend Andrew Fitzgerald served us. Today, Reverend Luke Bars serves as our minister here at Canterbury Baptist Church. A lot has changed over 200 years, but this particular body of Christians, known as Canterbury Baptist Church, has always looked to see new life in Jesus here in Canterbury and beyond. Today, on the 200th year anniversary, we thank God for the generosity he has shown us over those 200 years and pray for his faithfulness to be seen in the generations to come.